you know, I've always said on my, my site, um, in my first couple of videos, my first video was about the RFID chip is just the stepping stone to the true mark. That was my first, you know, first video. Um, but you know, you've got to understand the. I've always who the third person in the room is. The true enemy is the third person. And if you don't see that, it's not, it, everything else is just smoke and mirrors. Everything is just, just distraction. A, wh white against black, a woman against man. All of that, you, you got to dig through it and figure out who's poking the stick that's starting the fighting because you, because they don't want you to see what's going on. You need to see what's going on the, of, of really what's behind this precursor, the vaccine, whatever, and leading up to the mark is if you don't understand, if you think Obama is the true enemy, if you think Trump is the the true enemy, if you think a country like, oh, it's Iraq, you're not seeing the big pictures. You're really not. And I'm just being honest because look, 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 look at my track record. It speaks for itself. I'm not being bragging. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying. Nicholson was talking about slash graphene 11 years ago and now here it is so there's look, that look at the um we probably can't play it because you may get a strike but look at the verizon dna video commercial Drawing. Introducing Droid DNA by HTC. It's not an upgrade to your phone. It's an upgrade to yourself. That commercial, a gentleman is sitting there. They're putting something into his forearm, into his forehead. He has something in the middle of his chest in the place of where God dwells. It's a cell phone. The date on the cell phone is 214. What's 214? February 14th, Valentine's Day, the heart right there. And then when it shows the in inside the human, this person, it shows a, a picture of the DNA with the graphene black wrapped around the DNA. And at the end of the commercial, here's what it says. This is not an upgrade to your phone. It's an upgrade to yourself. Drawing. Introducing Droid DNA by HTC. It's not an upgrade to your phone. It's an upgrade to yourself. They're telling you. At what what does a cell indeed upgrade to your cell? I mean, th that commercial, what's that got to do with anything <laughs> with a cell phone? Really, with your body. It should you know what a cell phone's for? Hello? Can I speak to you? That's it. It's a phone, for Christ's sake. Oh, dude, gonna, I didn't. I never noticed the two fourteen before until just now. Exactly. Too far. I mean, it, it, there's so much into that commercial. They're telling you where technology is going, what they want to invade, um, and even even this. I mean, think about this. If we go to Genesis, let's just read this. I want Daisy. Can you read Genesis? Um, I think Genesis two two. See if you can find that. See, understanding the scripture, not, you know, I don't understand everything. I just know, just see the scripture for, for the way it is, not the way you want it to be uh, in some dreamland or whatever. I, I say that a lot. But. Okay, I got it here. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day for, from all his work, which he had made. Is that Genesis 2? Genesis Oh, 222, sorry. Yeah, 222, I'm sorry. Real nice. My bad, guys. I think. Unbelievable. You're going you're gonna to see. See, when you're a surgeon, 
or you're a doctor and they want to take a rib from something, you got to understand what rib really means. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Okay. And the rib, which the Lord God had taken from man, made he a woman and brought her unto the man. Okay. So God put Adam asleep. For y'all who do not know the story, God put Adam asleep, reached in and took a rib from Adam and created woman. Okay. A rib. Okay. Now look up the word DNA. It's denocula. I mean, I can't pronounce it. Uh, uh, put it on the screen if you can, Daze. Denocular. Sure, let me pull re it up. At DNA. In the middle of that word is rib. So God took DNA, the rib, Adam, and created another being, which was woman from Adam. He took DNA. It, 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 it real is even in the middle of the word denocular or about or I can't say the word but so understanding what is going on is they're trying to create Satan is trying to create his own kingdom he's trying to look Satan can't create anything from scratch he can't create so what he does he tampers with it he, cre he tampers with the DNA to make his own creation. Do you get it? Rib, DNA, it's all there. He's trying to copy the creator. It's all in our face. You've got Chrome, Google Chrome, chromosomes in our body. You've got cells in our body. You've got cell phones, cell towers. It's, it, there's, there's two kingdoms being built. One is iron, one is clay. You, clay is the flesh and from God and natural. Things are being created. Iron is tech, antichrist kingdom. Things that are, look, you've got real intelligence from God, artificial intelligence from tech. You see where I'm going with this? It's all, there's two kingdoms running right now. This one's, this antichrist kingdom is being built with 5G, all the stuff. All they're doing is, you know, so I'm, I'm going all over the place here, but I'm just passionate about it is, look, God has a frequency. God created the heavens and the earth with sound, period. It's frequencies, it's tones. The angels were in the beginning when things were created, when they created us, they were there. They saw it, okay? Frequencies and tones. God has his own frequencies. That's, okay? Now, if God, and a lot of people say, I don't hear from God. And I want you to think over thousands of years, I don't hear from God, I don't hear. Well, guess what? We're being jammed. Frequencies are being jammed all around you. So it is, you have to stop and get a little quiet. Does that kind of make sense? I don't know if you agree with that or whatever. It's why I go to the mountaintops all the time to get away from the Wi-Fi soup. Right. Somebody, several artists, several artists and several scientists have done rendition of what it would look like where we are in any given space. If you could actually see the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi, all the frequencies around us. We're literally, I mean, we talked about this before. Are all these, is all these cell phone towers, is all this frequency man-made on the earth? being used to jam us from communicating with God. And I'd have to say yes. Yeah. And it's you know what I mean? Of, but if, yep. you, if you pray in earnest and then look for the answer, you'll find a little plastic tube in the middle of nowhere that answers your prayer verbatim, because I did. And who am I? Some jerk off from Boston. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you're, you're on it, man. You're absolutely on it. Yeah. And to back up one other thing that you just finished saying about the rib for the people that are going... Oh, yeah, God took a rib from Adam and made a... Let me tell you, Guns from Face Like the Sun YouTube channel, I can't, re I can't remember the exact article, but he pulled it up. The only bone in the human body that they have literally been able to make regenerate on its own is the rib from a man. Science has done that. The, the religion of science has done that. So there's actually validity to it. Yeah, the rib is... And, and, and R.I.B. is in the middle of... Of course it is. It, it's always there. And so, you know, understanding that, um, 
and understanding what the elites want to do. Read, um, Dave, can you bring up Genesis 3 to 22? 3.22. Man, he's making you work, dude. I'm sorry, man. I, oh, it's no, all, man, it's it's all God, good. It's been great. thousand people watching. They should, they should probably hit that thumbs up. Yes, please hit, hit the thumbs up. Could be his last live stream ever. Could be. You don't know. <laughs> All right, let's pull this up here. Let me get the, okay. uh, King James here. Okay, before you read that, a lot of people know that at, that Bush and Kerry, a lot of the so, secret society skull and bones, their secret number is 322. Yes. A lot of people, they don't really even know what it is. Okay. Break it down, brother. Break it down. This is, this so, re so let's read. Genesis, you're going to read Genesis 3, 2, 2. Yes. And read it. Okay. And, the, and the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Ah, okay. Now, let me break that down to you. There was something they were not supposed to partake of and they're not supposed to do. Notice it's the same number. And what I've said, for they're trying to live forever another way other than the way the creator has set things up. They're trying through this technology. They're going to use the technology to enslave us, but they're going to try to live forever with the technology that's coming. That, that, that's what that is, is trying to, there's, there's information we're not supposed to partake of. And that's what it has to do with, you know. So I just want to share that your enemy believes in Jesus Christ. Your enemy knows quite well the Bible. Satan knows quite well the verses. He does. And that's why the, the secret number is 322. And it speaks of trying to live another way other than the way that God has put things in motion. And, and that's why I want to reach out to the people that are not Christians or not believers is that's, that, that's on you if you don't want to believe. But I tell you what, what's attacking us right now on the earth, they believe it. They absolutely believe it. Absolutely. And they're doing, yep, absolutely. And, and let, me, let me ask a question ahead, yes, while please. I got both of you two here yes, because yes. I want to, the, the number, the two reasons that, the two emails I get the most, Richie, you say that we're special, that we're creating God's image blah, 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 then why does God allow evil? And why would Satan fall from heaven knowing that he can never return? Like he know, he was, he watched God create the flower of life, algebra, butterflies, caterpillars, absolutely everything, DNA. How could you step off knowing you can never come back? What do you, what, anything? Because I can't answer that. What what do you mean with the last the last? How part? could you? How could Satan try to overtake God, knowing that God is God? God created him, but I'm going to take over and then get thrown out. It says in the Bible, pride, which he thought yeah. he could create, and here's the original lie. He's, Satan, he's blinded. By, he's blinded by his pride. It, 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 great lead in to what I'm going to say, Richie. Pr 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 love this. See, a lot of people. You have to understand why secret societies, let me show you, let me, they all believe the same lie, whether it be Skull and Bones, whether it be Freemasons, Illuminati, Rosicrucianers, a club of, it, it doesn't matter. They believe this one lie. They believe the Garden of Eden story, that Adam and Eve was in the garden. And I've heard this from Masons that got out. This is just not something I've thought of. This is something they've all told me separately um, in different times. They believe in the Garden of Eden story, and they believe that the true creator held them captive. They said, notice the story is you can partake of any of the trees except this one. Don't partake of that one. And they, he held them captive in the garden, but it wasn't until Lucifer, the old serpent, showed up that whispered to him and said, no, the only reason that he didn't want you to partake of this is you surely won't die. And he don't want to be, he doesn't want you to become like him. See, so the Masons, 
regardless of Christians, all of them, they believe through the technology that they can become their own gods, that one day man will become their own gods. That's why they do what they do. They believe, even if they die, it's called the craft in Mason. It's called the craft. Even over time, if they die, that's fine. They're just doing their part, part of the craft because they believe they will be resurrected into the Antichrist kingdom, which is Lucifer. See, they have their own belief on that, of them being resurrected into that kingdom that they believe that the creator was the, he was the one holding them back uh, from that technology to become their own gods. That's And that's why they do what they do. And that's why they're not really worried about dying. They believe the same thing, but just opposite of what we do. This, I don't know if this that answers a quick question, but. Yeah, the secret uh, knowledge, right? This type of Gnosticism, secret. yes. Yeah, because Masons are builders. Um, actually, is it Acts 4? Let's check me out here. Acts 4.4, 4, I think, or Acts, Acts 4.44, 4, I think, or um, the builders who rejected the true cornerstones. But anyway, see, Masons are builders, and they knew the secret knowledges and math and everything of physical buildings. But when you get into the inner sanctum of Freemasonry, when you get high up, see, the real secret is creating other temples another way. See, the real secret of Freemason is speaking to us about create. That's the that's the true craft. I don't know if that's the verse or not. It's Acts, the builders who true. Notice, is it, did you find that, days? Acts 4. Uh, yeah, Jesus. 411. Maybe it's 411. Yeah, 411. It, okay. That's what I got here. Jesus is the stone you builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone. Okay, now notice something what Jesus says in, in this verse. He says builders. He didn't say you Sumerians, you Galileans. He specifically says builders. Why would he say builders? It speaks to the Freemasons and what they're doing. The builders, they're trying to build something another way, not the way God put it. And then in also days, didn't it speak to those who try to come into heaven not through the gate. They're thieves and robbers. They're trying to come into heaven another way. They're trying to, that, that's also speaking to people that are trying to live another way forever, other than the way God has put things in motion is, and that's why he says builders. It's so, it's so important. Why would he say builders? It has to do with the Freemasons. Here's another thing. The answer that you gave me, both of you, was pride. Pride is the other stumbling block that we're running into because people that have bought this entire story since march 13th their pride will not allow them to i've been fooled this is a fraud this isn't real yeah it's the biggest thing pulling everybody down right now they're going to stick with this till the wheels fall off for the most part absolutely and that was all again like you said noah social engineering yes. everybody's taking a picture of themselves every 15 seconds that didn't <laughs> happen Everybody's got the thumbs up, all that. I mean, that stuff is crazy, and it builds up your ego and your pride, and people will not let go of this because of pride. It's a trip. Very. It's a trip. They have organized society so well, it blows me away. And you, I didn't really see the, the exact dimensions of it until this whole thing happened. That's it. 